Hello, everybody. We're Kenneth and Gloria Copeland, and welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast, Amen. and welcome to Southwest Arkansas. Praise God. On a chilly spring morning. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Woo, I'm telling you, it just plumb got cold over it the did. last two or three days. Of course, by the time you see this, it'll be all warmed up, but... I mean, it, oh yeah. And and everything, springtime. And I didn't even bring my skis or anything. <laughs> springtime in this part of the country is so beautiful. It's it just is. wonderful. It is everything comes alive. We've, we've got a, a family of geese that have moved in and they just hatched out of two or three days ago. And, and the little f yellow fuzzy You may goslets. hear them too. And you know, they're teaching them how to swim and they're paddling around the pond. It's just wonderful. And we want to, we want to share this place with you. We enjoy this with you every year. It's been such a blessing to our family. Gloria was born just what, two miles up the road here? And- uh, I always was a city girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Uh, of a town is it, it's it's got this the the same what is it 102 people and it, they never change the sign I guess the equal amount move well, in and that's move right. yeah. out over the years Father we thank you today we give you praise and we honor you today we honor your word we honor your name we honor the blood of Jesus and we thank you thank you Jesus. open the the windows of heaven are open yeah. and we open our hearts and minds to receive, to receive revelation from heaven, to receive insight and ideas and concepts about living this life of faith in Jesus and to know more about you, Lord Jesus. Oh my, my, my. We love you and we thank you. We honor you. And we ascribe all of the glory, all of the honor for every word that's said and every deed that's done to your matchless name. Thank you. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. We are going to be talking about healing. Isn't that good? Oh, I like healing. And um, Gloria has done healing school for oh almost 40 years and, and i tell you what, ain't nobody just, I don't care who it is, then nobody knows any more about, about ministering healing than Gloria Jean Copeland. Oh, I appreciate that. I, I can tell you, you that, praise God. I've sat there in healing school and just got healed and received, amen. It's just wonderful. Praise the Lord. Now, let's open our Bibles first to the book of Proverbs. All healing, all of it is from God. God is the one of people say, well, I don't believe in that healing. What's the matter with you? There's healing in your body. Well, I know, but that's natural. Well, who you think put it there? You didn't. That's right. <laughs> God built that in there. He is the healer. Amen. Come on. Amen? That's All right. right, you're going to learn right. a lot of things. I want to show you this, though. Healing of the physical body is a process. Now, healing natural. You know, you know there's, there's, there's divine healing, and there's natural yeah. healing. But help me, Lord, to... Make this clear, please. Uh, let's let's take the healing of a broken bone. And they, you know, they set the bone and put it in a cast, and it takes several weeks for that bone to heal. That's a process, right? Yes, that's right. Now that healing process uh, over a period of time. Now, divine healing is when the anointing, the power of God is released and that bone, say that bone is healed over, a, 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 it men, say it mends over a period uh, of a week instead of four to six. 
Well, you know something's happened. Speed it up. But it's the same process is what I'm trying to get over to you. Now, let's say you just received a miracle. It's an instant, instantaneous, miraculous healing, which a lot are going, uh, this is going to happen a lot all this week. Praise God. Yes, amen. It's the same process. It just got, it just got sped up to instantaneous. But the healing is the same process. Amen. Yes, that's right. Now, I can see that. This is the prescription in um, the fourth chapter of the book of Proverbs, beginning with verse 20. My son, attend to my words. Now, once we're going to see uh, that words play a vital part in this all the way through in healing. Remember Psalm 107, 20, Gloria, where he said he sent his word yes, and right. healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Well, Jesus is the word. He's called the word. He is that word. That Think came. how blessed we are to have oh, the glory. word. Yeah, and the, oh, you know, and there's something I want to mention about, about this as we go. Attend to my words. Words came first. Incline thine ear to my say. Well, words don't do you any good if you don't have an ear to hear. That's right. And uh, uh, what, what is that? Let, let's take uh, quickly uh, Mark 4, 23. Hold your place there in Proverbs and go over to the New Testament to the book of Mark chapter 4. And, and look at the 23rd verse. If any man, now that, uh, do, you, do you realize that when the, the, the Bible, which is a spiritual book, refers to man, it's not, it's not talking about gender, it's talking about mankind. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been a, 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 a lot of, of wrong ideas and bad doctrine that came out of that and it's ignorance that caused it. Well, see, this is only for men. Well, you know, I, I'm not even going to honor that go with there. much comment, but it's talking about mankind. Now, any person, any man, if any man, any person have ears to hear, let him hear. So that's not God's choice. No. That's our choice. And he said unto them, take heed what you hear. You don't just, you don't. Now, we're, we're about to read in Proverbs 4, incline thine ear unto my say. You don't just, just open your ear up like a garbage pail and just listen to gossip and all of that. No, 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 no. You take heed what you hear with what measure you, uh, M-E-T-E -E is old English for measure, what measure you measure it shall be measured to you. The way you hear it is the way it's going to come back to you. That's right. And unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that hath to him shall be given. He that hath not from him shall be taken that, even that which he has. Now it's not God that's taken it. He just got through teaching that Satan comes immediately to what? Steal the word. My brother and sister, the word of God is the most precious thing on this earth. It's the most powerful thing on this earth. This is a word created universe. Created by the word of God. It is upheld. That's right. According to Hebrews chapter one, it is upheld by the word of of his power. It never loses its power. No. Because of that. Because of that. Now, notice that the scripture says, 
the power of death and life or in the power of the tongue or in the power of words. You can't change that. That's a spiritual law. However, you can change the words under which you live and they come out of your own mouth and out of, out of the Bible, the written word of the living God. It's so vitally important. Now notice, unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that hath has what? Has ears to hear. Ears. <laughs> These things. He that hath, he's talking about ears, wasn't he? When he talking about yeah. uh, any man have ears to hear, let him hear. Unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that hath ears to hear, to him shall be given. And he that hath not ears to hear, from him shall be taken even that which he hath. And he just got through, going through all of this, these verses here, telling us from the 14th to the 20th verses that the sower sows the word and Satan comes immediately to steal it. Now, when we don't let him steal it, praise God, is because we have ears to hear shall more be given. I have on my, mar you know, I've got this margin on here just filled up. Law of, the law of receiving is the law of attention. Oh, that's good, Gloria. Yeah. Well, hey, let's that's go back over says. there to 420. That's to what he said. Words. That's what he said. That is so good. Listen to this. Go back to that 20th verse, the fourth chapter of Proverbs. My son, attend, pay attention yeah. to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Now don't forget what Romans 10, 17 says. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, I made note of, of these scriptures, Gloria, in Luke 5, 15 and 6, 17. They came to hear and be healed. Now, you know, you know, Gloria, most people have the idea that Jesus just came to town and he just went and went to healing and and just and he just healed everybody and he just healed everybody and he, no he didn't. He didn't heal everybody. Well, wow, Brother Copeland, put your gun up. He, 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 didn't, he didn't heal everybody. There were the, those in his hometown that uh, uh, there he could do no mighty works because of their unbelief. Now, wait a minute. We're on to something here. What did they not believe? The word. He preached he took a text in the 61st chapter of Isaiah and he preached, the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. So what happened? He preached and they didn't believe it. They said, who does he think he is? I mean, we know him, that's Mary and Joseph's boy. Come in here telling us that, you know, all this. What, God what didn't they do? They didn't pay attention. They didn't pay attention. That's right. No, they didn't. So now what did he do? What did he do after that? The scripture said he went throughout the whole area, went through their villages teaching. That's the cure for unbelief because faith cometh by hearing. That's right. And hearing by the word of God. Now, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings, let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them before your eyes. Now, back in these days, they only had the written word. 
But think about what you and I have. Oh my goodness. You know what I enjoy doing? It's so wonderful now. You can, you know, I, I've got all these translations in my phone. Now, not, not all of them are audio, but there's a number of them that are in different translations that, that someone is reading it. Well, turn on the audio and follow it and read with whomever's reading on, on, the, uh, on the audio in that particular translation. And of course, I, I use the... I, I, I use the King James translation from which to preach. And so that's what I listen to. I use other translations to study, but it's so good. You know what? This guy don't drape daydream. He just keeps on reading. <laughs> and you can, you know, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute where is he now? <laughs> he can't stop. He can't no, stop. Oh, man. Now there are times you stop and you make notes and so forth, but there are times you need to just, 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 just go on and read and listen carefully and read and look. So, amen. Now then, keep them. Don't let them depart from your eyes. When you're reading and meditating and confessing the word of God, Keep them, you, you, ought, you, ought to, you, ought, you ought to go through the healing scriptures every day. And um, as you do, you begin to see yourself. You meditate on that. By his stripes, ye were healed. Okay, what does that mean now that I'm healed? And I, I know I'm healed now. Well, you know, uh, uh, healed people ought to, ought to be up out of bed this time of day. Well, what am I? What am I staying in bed for? Yeah. Yeah, but you got the flu. No, this and that's what this says. This says by his stripes you were healed. I know, but you're hurting. Yeah, but that don't matter. Now, now here's the difference, Gloria, and this is this is where the it seems to be difficult. People make it difficult. But when you attend to my word, you put my word first place, when, when that's final authority in your life, and you read 1 Peter 2, 24. And for instance, I, I've really, I, I enjoy doing this. First thing out of bed in the morning, I look in the mirror, I go in there in the bathroom, and, and I look in the mirror and I look myself right in the eye. <laughs> Surely Jesus bore my griefs, my sicknesses, my sorrows, and my pains. Look at, my, look at myself right in the eye. And, 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 and I finished quoting that. We did esteem him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted, but he was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquities and the chastisement of my peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I am healed. Then I go over to Matthew 8, 17, yeah. which was uh, in, in quoting that scripture. Himself took my infirmities and bore my sicknesses. Then I go to 1 Peter 2, 24. Jesus bore my sin. I'm looking at myself right in the eyes. I'm saying it. Jesus himself bore my sins in his own body on the tree that I, being dead to sin, should live under righteousness by whose stripes I was healed. If I was healed, I am healed now. That's right. Now, that's what God said about it. Now, faith is believing that instead of believing physical symptoms or anything else. I heard Creflo Dollar say it like this. In fact, I was watching Creflo yesterday and uh, oh, oh my goodness, so plain. He said, now grace, did you know the scripture says we are saved by grace through faith. It put the grace first and then the faith next. 
Then we see over in Romans 4, 16, it is by faith so that it might be by grace. Now, get this. Creflo said this, and oh my, my, it, it just blessed me so. He said, Jesus, grace, Jesus, full of grace and truth. Mm -hmm. Grace provided my healing 2,000 years ago. Grace provided that. Now, I have to appropriate it by faith. Grace meaning you didn't do anything to deserve I did, it. I, it has nothing to do That's with right. anything I did I, or, or didn't do. It was grace. It's just pure grace. Mm -hmm. So what I must do I must appropriate it by faith and say, that's mine. I take it now. And from this moment, I am healed. And don't get off of it. Don't turn that loose. That's right. Don't get over into the yeah buts. Yeah, but I heard. What if? No, 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 no. All that's a badge of unbelief. Just, just get over here and stay here. Yeah, but I'm healed. Yeah, but I'm well. Yeah. yeah. And you know, no, we ought to yeah. start doing that when we feel good, not when... Wait till we get All sick. the time. That's the reason I'm saying right. do it. Every morning looking in the yeah. mirror. Every morning I'm healed. I don't yes, care what, what your body feels like. And you just you you just keep laying hold of that as your faith grows, your faith appropriates it. And it comes from the power of God within. It comes from the power of the Holy Ghost upon you. And it doesn't come it doesn't come down on you here. It comes from in here out like that. And we're out of time. Already? Already, Glory, and I'll be back in just a moment. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.